Go back to the EB2 part. Well, you can't be serious. You gotta be real still with it, probably. That's some bullshit, man. Is it working? I'll go ahead. So we got a janky camera, so they keep dying out. Okay, see, just straightness, that means difficult times coming. <laughs> oh, yeah, so just read it again from the uh, from that part talking about eating children. Okay, and toward her young one that cometh out from between her leg and her feet, and toward her children which she shall bear, for she shall eat them for the want of all things secretly in the siege and straightness. Yeah, so, they, like I said, America's under siege, and when all chaos breaks loose, when the EBT cards get cut off, that, that's when that's when you're gonna see complete. Uh, that's when America may be a straight. And complete mayhem. That's means. the word mayhem. It's gonna be complete mayhem. It's gonna be. It's like it's being insanity. It's gonna be like the first day of the Walking Dead when the virus first broke out. Yep. On the first, you know, just, 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 it's just like an unstoppable juggernaut coming through. Just you're gonna be crowds of people killing people. There's gonna be crowds of people busting in the stores, taking all the food, killing the cashiers, you know what I'm saying? And then, then when all the food runs out and no more stores to rob, then they're gonna start eating people. That's what they're gonna do. They're coming to your home, they're nearest you. That's what they're coming to your home. There's gonna be no more food. And the women, like we said, the women, they're gonna be frying their children in the frying pan. They're gonna be baking them, they're gonna be cooking them, put barbecue sauce on them, or doing whatever they can do. Oh, that sounds disturbing. On the road, Tim's screaming that motherfucker. You know, the little Timmy's in that motherfucker. The little Mary Ann. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yep. <laughs> that little Swanda, La Quanda. <laughs> Swanda, La Quanda. Yeah. Oh yeah, the Edomites gonna do that. That's already the Edomites already do that. They do that for oh, yeah, fun. Oh yeah, they do that for fun. They, they right. drink children's blood. Yeah, they do that for fun. <laughs> like when the motherfucking stands wasn't going on just for like four or five hours, people was going nuts. Yeah, because it, it wasn't been out for a whole day. You got all over the internet, there's reports of Al Gore drinking blood. Everybody says, it, it, there's all kind of people saying that, so it must be me. Too far, East Main, Jarrell's birth. Let's see how many of those on here going berserk. Look at that. Yeah, but I don't know if I'm going to feed Yo, my berserk. kids. I know somebody going to feed my babies. I know somebody going to feed my babies. Independent women. They say they independent women, but they gotta they, they they'll go crazy. Go crazy. When there's no EBT and no food stamps, the woman will not be able to eat. Her children won't be able to eat. When them food stamps get cut off, all you hoes are gonna starve to death. Yeah, if you don't, unless you uh, eat your children, a lot of you hoes, you're gonna eat your children. They're gonna be eating little children. They're gonna eat your little baby, just like on that movie The Road. You watch that movie, The Road? I watch that tonight. Gotta watch that. This was one of the best movies ever created. In that movie, it was like a nuke attack or something happened. And then society broke down. There wasn't no government. There was no food. So there was nothing but cannibalism. You had people who had whole like dungeons just filled up with people that they was keeping from meat. They, they had chop a dude's leg off, just one of his legs off, and eat it and keep him alive so it'll stay fresh. So he, they can eat the other leg later. It was a, that movie is the same as uh, the Book of Eli. Oh yeah, the it's Book the of Eli. Same Eli. thing. It was the yep. same exact thing. You know, in the movie they was, want, they was having them check it. Hold your hand up. Let me let me see your fingers. You know. That's just beautiful. When you eat people, it causes um, it causes what's that disease behind my eyes? Uh, Parkinson's. Yeah, that's the cannibalism too. Oh shit! I'm not mainly from cannibalism. Parkinson's. Mm -hmm. Parkinson's. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. They probably. Yeah, my homie was probably drinking blood. Yeah, drinking blood. You know, told, you know, he's a mason, so he probably is a mason. He's a mason, so he's either drinking blood or they call him the goat. Or probably the goat. Yeah, that's what they call him. The goat, the greatest of all time. Yeah, how how come the the goat is not the greatest of all time? The goat is Esau, that hairy bastard. That's the goat. It's Esau. He's, he's the goat. The goat. We're the sheep. Yeah, we're the sheep. Esau is the goat. Mm -hmm. That's why Esau. That's why his god is the devil. And the devil has horns. <laughs> it's like, goat. Well, they worship the bull, they worship the goat. Esau worship anything. Man. Anything that ain't dealing with the most high. Man. If it ain't, if it ain't talking about the most high, then Esau's all for They worship anything but the most high. They worship every. They worship a fucking tree. Everything Esau, but Yahweh. But Esau worships all religions. Everything. Yeah, everything. But Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh. 
everything. Yep. They worship a damn can. They worship. They love that Hindu shit and they love that Buddha shit. And they just mix it all together and then they give it to us. And like, here you go. And Esau, he take all the different religions in the world and mix them all together. And like, here y'all go. And that's why they'll push on TV. And that's what'll make popular. That's why. You, that's why you got all these dumbass bitches doing yoga. So I'm, like, I'm going to go do some yoga with my yoga instructor. You know what I mean? Some, that was some Hindu shit, man. That's on Tina Turner. Yeah, she, she looked like a witch. Tina Turner looks scary. That bitch looks scary. She got she got Doc Brown hair. You know Doc Brown off of Back to the Future? That's that looked like Tina Turner got Doc Brown hair. Looked like she got electrocuted. Bitch looked like no, she looked like Tina Turner looked like that bitch on Mortal Kombat. There goes some live students. It's, I thought he's weird though. Hey, excuse me, are you a student? They probably... What? Uh, it looks like homosexual. Yeah. I just wanted to clown on him. Yeah, only a faggot wears a suit and a tie. That's some faggot shit, man. I was looking at my daughter's boyfriend one day. I was like, that, that's an obvious faggot. He's a guy, he, he's, you know, he likes men. And plus he has that symbol on his tattoo on the back of his arm. Uh, what that, the print uh, they, symbol? They call it a, they call it an Egyptian cross it's a circle. It's a cross, but the top of it is a circle. Yeah. But it goes by it's ISIS, representative ISIS go to, and, and it represents sexual magic too, which to have sex with uh, you know, with as many men and women as possible. That, yeah. that, that, that symbol has a lot of meanings to it. But it's really, you know, that's some sexual magic shit, man. Nasty foul shit, man. When you really look at a tie though, when you really look at it. The, way yeah. I, the kind of way I see the symbolism in a tie mm -hmm. is, mm -hmm. uh, first of all, it looks like you got a dick hanging from you because it probably represents a dick. Not exactly. only that, yeah. but you got you got a, like a rope wrapped around your neck like someone's got you, got control of you. You know what I mean? That's what a tie fucking symbolized. Yeah, it's, like, it's an upside down office. Yep. Or it, plus, you got a rope tied around your neck. It's, a, it's, a, it's an uncircumcised penis. Because you know, when you become a Freemason, you got to get a rope tied around your neck. Yeah, yeah. And then they do some weird, and they make you weird. just go through a whole ceremony. So the tie is like the same thing. That's like some some Freemasonic shit, man. That's some homosexual shit. When you go to court, you have the tie. Yeah. It's like a judge looking at you like you might be in another. Yeah, everybody dressing all night going to court. They all scared of the judge, man. Fuck that judge. That judge ain't shit, man. That judge ain't got shit to say. That judge has no power. That judge can't do nothing, bro. Yeah, fuck the police. They go, they, too. Yeah, fuck the police. They all gonna be destroyed. They have no power. The only power they got, they got from the Most High. Oh yeah, they trying to. Yeah. They getting scared. They they getting scared because they they think the people gonna rise up and start hanging them. Mm -hmm. they, they, they all they all. Yeah, they gonna do like a French Revolution out here or something. They are gonna pull out the guillotine. You saw the spirit right there. It's a weak shit. You about to take his ass to jail? It's a weak shit. It's doing anything. Who? Nigga, come out. They got to do it in Paris. Who? Pharaoh, dude, I thought he was Pharaoh. Running up and oh. down the sidewalk. Oh, the dude that call you Busy Bone? Or? Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, well, I, no, no, that pink, pink Chuck yeah. T dude. No, he talking about Loki. Yeah, that's, Loki. that's your boy. Loki. The dude yeah. wearing the Panthers. Dude, we call him all kind of shit. He was like an evil, like an evil spirit, <laughs> like Dan. Loki. He was, he was like, like Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, yeah, that was some Loki shit. But he was just like bouncing around bouncing all around. over the place like an evil that spirit. That was a fun day. Man. He, he was literally like, was bouncing all over the place. Of course, man. From his topics. To he was like, I quit fucking with y'all. I seen all y'all YouTube videos. I quit fucking with y'all. No, nah, he's like, no, nah, he said, I used to fuck with y'all, but now I don't fuck with y'all no more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that means that's because he couldn't, have, he couldn't obtain his knowledge. Yeah, it was too it much was, for him. It wasn't, it wasn't for him. It, 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 the truth is, is go too straight. Read that again. Let's get back to the script. Get back on track. Because the truth will, is, it, it frustrates people, man. Cause they can't take it. Y'all know America's about to be destroyed. God's gonna destroy it. They don't give a fuck. They about to go suck each other off. 
They about to go butt chug, suck each other off, suck cum, all that shit. We just won't accidentally overcook them though. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. The most high, yeah, it's gonna be some furious flames out here. Yeah, right. Okay, wherewith thy enemies shall distress thee in thy gates, and thou wilt not observe to do all the words of of this law that is that are written in this book. So nobody's following the laws in this book. You know what I'm saying? Because when you grow up and teach your children, who teaches the children nowadays? The, the schools? Columbus, public schools here in Columbus? You know what I mean? So, Columbus public schools, they, they do not teach the Bible in school. They didn't teach me the Bible in school. They ain't teach me about Moses. They ain't teach me about uh, Joshua. Well, hey, they ain't teach us nothing about the mighty men we were. My, you know, we once were. They ain't never teach they me teach nothing. Shit. Yeah, yeah, but they they shit you would be interested in as a young lad. They taught us about Hercules yeah. though and Zeus. Zeus, yeah. But why they teach you about Zeus? Zeus was a a, a, a false god. Jack and the Beanstalk. Christopher fucking Columbus. Yeah, all this some bullshit, man. <laughs> they said no Bibles on. Hey, read that scripture again, man. Yeah, this is a good point. If thou will not observe to do all the words of this law. So nobody's doing all the observing all the words of this law in America. The first uh in America the first amendment said you can have whatever religion you want. You can you can worship the devil, you can be a Muslim, you know what I'm saying? You can be a Jedi. You got actually they call themselves Jedi's. What kind of retarded shit is that, man? You need to punch in your face. Keep going. That are written in this book. That thou mayest fear this glorious and fearful name, the Lord thy power. Then the Lord will make thy plagues wonderful. And so that's why y'all gonna get uh, wonderfully plagued out here, man. When the Lord brings his death and his destruction, it's gonna be wonderful. It's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be, a it's gonna be terrible for y'all and frightening for, for, for the wicked. But for us, it's gonna be beautiful. We're gonna rejoice. That's right. Like, especially when these EBT cards get cut off. It's gonna be wonderful. Bitches ain't worth snatching up anything. Just Pogo like this. And they already, uh, America's already trillions of dollars in debt, and now they got this Obamacare fucking everything up. That shit doesn't even work. You can't even sign up. They, didn't they just say, like, uh. They set that shit up because, you know, when 2014 come in, if you ain't signed up for some insurance, they're gonna come through and find you through the taxes. And watch. A lot of people's gonna start dropping dead because they can't get no, uh. <laughs> Look, they can't... That's the baton thrower for the Ohio State football team. Uh, was that him for real? Yeah, you can see his batons in his book bag. He probably shows the batons up his ass. Hell yeah, he's about to go yeah, home and do it right now. Oh, go ahead with that. That thou mayest, then the Lord will make thy plagues wonderful and the plagues of thy seed, even great plagues. And the plagues of your seed. And of long continuance. And of long continuance. So actually, this, this, a lot of this plague is talking too about our fathers getting plagued and their fathers getting plagued. The whole time we've been in America for hundreds of years, all of our ancestors were getting plagued and they was getting beat down. You know what I mean? In sour sicknesses and of long continuance. Moreover, he will bring upon thee all the diseases of Egypt. All which, the, yeah, yep. Which thou wast afraid of, and they shall cleave unto thee. Yeah. Also, every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of this law, them will the Lord bring upon thee until you be destroyed. So, so that's, the, that's the punishment for not keeping the Lord's commandments. That's what that's talking about. And the Lord is very creative, man. And, and he's very terrifying. And the way he, he'll fuck you up is just amazing. You just do not want to tempt the most high. They are tempted. <laughs> they are tempted. This is the weird as hell running. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. First Thessalonians 1 and uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 3. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 2. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, yeah, then sudden destruction cometh upon them 
and travail upon a woman with child. Yeah, these people out here, they in La La Land. They, they live in fantasy land. They don't know that death and destruction is coming real soon. Just like when the EBT cars got shut off, they weren't ready for that. And that wasn't even 24 hours, was it? Yeah, it wasn't even It was like eight, eight hours. Right. And they was freaking out. They yeah. didn't know what to do. Yeah. Like, oh, who's going to feed my babies? That shit was all over Instagram and Facebook. Man, these people don't stand a chance, bro. They didn't, they been, they didn't call on the Lord's name. You know what I'm saying, Jesus. No, they was crying to the government. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, they Obama were, fucking yeah, their son, nigga. Saying, yeah, they sure the hell was. They wasn't even saying Jesus. No, they was blaming Bush. They weren't blaming Obama. They, they, were, they, had, they had praised Obama. They like, thank you. I know Obama did what he could. <laughs> I heard this bitch at work say, he's like, once they open the government back up, Obama's going to get everything back on track. These I people, wanted to punch her in her fucking bitch, face. That's what I'm saying. These bitches are in fact. That's why you can't have women in rulership and women in power. You can't have women being managers at your job. Women should not be allowed to be managers. They shouldn't be allowed to work with men at all. Went, man. Women are retarded, man. They're fucking retarded. Look, every day at work, I hear about another bitch committing adultery. Got a boyfriend, but still fucking another dude. It's like a regular thing I hear about every day, like every twice day. a day. And it's nothing. It's like, I just got a new boyfriend. And like my I, boyfriend was out of town now. I fucked this guy, and then my boyfriend came on. back, so. You can go on, you can go on and, uh, you know what I mean? If it's dark, go ahead. I don't encourage it, but. Go ahead and see what happens. Yeah, your ass to end up with some of them, them herpes and got Get some genital warts. Some warts. <laughs> see how you like that. See the Lord said that man that committed adultery to destroy his own soul. Yeah, he destroys his own That's soul. That's not a pleasant feeling. You know? Destroys his own say, soul. Yeah, you go, you go and uh, commit adultery, and someone's going to come after your ass like OJ. You're going to get shanked like OJ, shanked Ronald That's Goldman. That's why OJ is a great American hero. Oh, yeah. O.J. Simpson is a great American hero. But, yeah. O.J. Simpson should have been given an award for that, bro. He will be given an award for it. Yeah, they should have gave him the keys to the city. O.J. Simpson. Such a great man and such great honor and valor. Hey, he killed Ronald Goldman, too. So, who's got a problem with... Killing them so called Jews. Don't yeah. you? Yeah. Nobody likes Jews, so what's the big problem? He was probably a faggot. He probably wasn't even hitting it. Yeah, right. Yeah, they was probably doing some weird shit. They were sticking hamsters up their ass. Sticking. I'll go ahead with that script. This is Ezekiel 14 and 13. Oh, Son of man, when the land sinneth against me by trespassing grievously, I then. Trespassing grievously. These people have grievously trespassed commandments of the Lord. Look at all these faggots out here, all these weirdos. Everywhere you look is a goddamn weirdo, a goddamn faggot, a lesbian. Yeah, tushy fucking bronies. You got people, grown men wearing tight ass pants, pink t-shirts. You got men chopping off their dicks and getting pussies made. You can actually go to the doctor and he'll chop your dick off and turn it into a pussy. Give you some titties too. Give you some titties, yeah. Good what kind of shit is that, man? This is crazy. But you can walk down the street and do it openly. And then they'll say that you're evil if you, if you don't accept it. You got the president, you got Barack Obama. He praises faggots and praises uh, homosexuals. Oh, the first thing he did, we had to put out for the faggots. Yeah, everything he does is just to advance the cause of a faggot. They say he's a faggot. Hey, we gotta look up titties. Oh, we got again. Titties. Where that comes from? Titties. Yeah. A teeth? It's Ezekiel 14 and 13. Son of man, when the land sinneth against me by trespassing grievously, then will I stretch out my hand upon it and will break the staff of the bread thereof and will send famine upon it. Ooh and we'll cut off Whew. man and beast from it. That's what we was just talking about. So you know right now, people, are, they are grievously uh, transgressing against the Lord. But look, it's, it's, it's complete madness out here, man. They got no respect for the Lord whatsoever out here, yeah. man. Why should they when they're told not to? They got none. They just they a bunch of filthy animals. It's like a bunch of pieces of shit, man. Just a, 
Yeah. It's just intolerable, man. I don't even know the word, man. It's so dis these people are so disgusting. They just need to die. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Are we on camera? What's that? Are we on camera? We're on camera. Yeah. Why, you want to be on camera? Yeah, you here. Jews are the best movie makers, right? Y'all y'all run Hollywood, y'all should love the camera. You wanna film me? If you wanna be on camera, you know. <laughs> I'll interview you. Yeah, come on. What y'all gotta talk about? You got nothing to say. You got nothing. You got nothing. Yeah, Jake. I think she I think she was. She had a fucking You think she was? Yeah, yeah, she was. And you she, she had more swagger than him. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Ain't that about a bitch? That's why I know they ain't fucking even mics, man. They got all the baddest bitches. Yeah. You saw how the bad bitches. Yeah. That's why I look. <laughs> fuck, bro. He's, yeah, that's the fuck. Hey. And she's only interested in interesting. He got money. Yeah, because he got money. He's, he's foolish enough to take care of it. He probably ain't living next to you. That's probably the first piece of pussy he ever got. You know? Probably the first piece of pussy he ever got besides that his kid or his cat or his dog at home. I mean, it's not. Like, that doesn't that count as pussy, does it? You're on the street. 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 The sword, and this is Ezekiel 715. The sword is within, without, and the pestilence and the famine within. He that is in the field shall die with the sword. And he that is in the city, famine and pestilence shall devour him. Famine and pestilence, like we said, because soon there's going to be no more EBT, there's going to be no more food stamps, and soon there's going to be cannibalism out here. There's going to be chaos in the streets. There's going to be nothing but death and destruction. All you little faggots, all you little, little uh, limp-wristed weaklings, you're going to starve to death. You're going to die. Someone's going to chop you up and eat you. That's what's gonna happen. You look at most of these people's arms, they just look like skeletons. Yeah, like, they're the just real easy to break. And the real gangster motherfuckers, they're, 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 they're really evil. They're gonna chop you up and eat you. You know what I mean? That's what's gonna happen, man. That's coming. That's coming. They ain't gonna be able to get no pork ribs. They're gonna have some skinny ribs. Yeah, they're gonna, yeah, they gonna do it up, too. Yeah, that's all through the Bible. That's in the book of Baruch, too. I'm gonna get that Baruch, see if I can find that. Hey, go ahead with that. The they that escape of them shall escape, and shall be on the mountains like doves of the valleys. All of them mourning, every one for his iniquities. That's supposed, you know, that, that shame is going to be covered. What we were talking about earlier, that shame will be covering these motherfuckers because they can remember all the wicked shit they were doing. You know, especially after hearing the truth and continuing on being a wicked piece of shit. Well, you know, this is your problem. This is your glory that's coming. You know, um, all hands shall be feeble. And all knees shall be weak as water. They shall also gird themselves with sackcloth, and horror shall cover them. And shame shall be upon all faces, and baldness upon all their heads. Yeah, y'all gonna be real shameful, man. It's gonna be so beautiful, man. See all these, all these loud mouth bitches. They, they walk around all the time, all free, running their mouth all the time. You can't touch a woman or the, so, the wrong way, so called the cops. Like that was a shameless bitch with her boyfriend right here. That was just yeah, she was shameless. A shameless bitch. Probably an adulterous hoe like, like anyone. Oh, yeah. Second Thessalonians 1 and 7. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord, Yahweh Shai, shall be revealed, from heaven with his mighty angels. Oh uh, yeah, so all, all you people out there on YouTube land and out here wherever, bro. So if, if this shit disgusts you, if you know everything is filth, you can't stand this shit, you supposed to kick it with us. You supposed to learn from us, you know what I'm saying? That's what you supposed to do. Go ahead, read that again, man. Second Thessalonians 1 and 7. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. Rest with us, you know what I'm saying? Righteous. The, yeah, the, the Lord. Yeah, the elect. When the Lord Yahweh Shah shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angel in mm. flame and fire, taking Ooh. vengeance on them that know not God. That's this is that, the good news right here. Yeah, this is, that, the, good this is the good news. That's you know, the gospel. Bro, right. Hey, read that again, man. What, what did the Lord say he was going This is what the Lord said he's going to do when he comes back. 
Yeah, everybody wants to know what happened when Jesus comes back, right? The one y'all call him. <laughs> yeah, Howard Shah. Well, yeah, everybody call him Jesus. His name is Yahweh Shah. Read that. Second Thessalonians 1 and 7. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord Yahweh Shah shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God. So you know, the Lord gonna take vengeance on all these damn heathens, man. It's gonna be beautiful. Keep going. And that obey not the gospel of our Lord Yahweh Shai. And that, that's two thirds of Israel. Two thirds of Israel is gonna be incinerated, bro. Two thirds of our people. Two thirds of our people. They gonna be destroyed, man. They gonna be. They gonna be incinerated. They gonna be disintegrated. Keep going. Who shall be punished with everlasting destruction? And that, and that's the everlasting destruction. That's not talking about hell. That's talking about when America's destroyed, the smoke is going to ascend to the heavens forever. It, it tell you that in Revelation. When you read the book of Revelation, it tells you when America's destroyed, the smoke is going, going to uh, ascend into the heavens forever. I can get it to prove it. Let's see if I can find that. Go ahead, read that. Keep going. 2 Thessalonians 1 and 9. That's okay. 2 Thessalonians 1 and 7. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Yahweh Shai, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction. The everlasting destruction. Now hold up, hold one second. Because people always try to use this scripture to say that when you die, you go to hell if you're evil. But the everlasting destruction is talking about when America is destroyed, right. it's going to be, the destruction is going to be so great, the smoke is going to ascend into the heavens forever. Man, right. these people got fucking uh, bank accounts that are large, man. They don't, they don't see America being destroyed. Yeah, they, they think it's just going to last They got forever. property in other states after state, vacation homes. They got they properties they overseas. They plan, on, oh, they plan on come after the smoke is clear. They plan on coming out and shit gonna be the same as you, you know, business as usual. Shit, yeah. Oh, they got, uh, Ain't gonna be no business as usual. I got some points though. Because when you read, uh, you know, First Samuel, Second Samuel, and all that, That's I came, yeah, I came across the scripture where I, I mean, my quote is right. That uh, Samuel came to Saul and told him, like, told him not to worry about something because by the moral. That bitch just gone. But, um. The goddamn friends, that's the Samuel was telling Saul. I know, we gotta take a leak. Samuel was telling Saul about, like, well, don't worry about it because by tomorrow, you and your family's gonna be with me. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. That scripture? That, that sounds familiar? I came across that scripture when Samuel told Saul, when Saul was worried about something, when Samuel told him, like, don't even worry about it because by tomorrow, you and your family will be with me. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, though. You know talking about? I know what you're talking about, though. So, and Saul did some wicked shit. So, why would he go with Samuel? Because Samuel, you know, with the Lord. Life is going to show you that when you get you die, you go straight back to the Lord. That's right. That's right. If that was the case, Saul should be in hell. <laughs> yeah, burning. Burning for three thousand five hundred years. <laughs> yeah, he should have been in hell burning right, right now. He's still burning now. <laughs> but he's back with the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> he's burning up. <laughs> <laughs> but I know that Samuel was telling him that. Don't worry about something because the most eyes must take you out. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So if that was the case, there was a hell, then that's where Saul would be. Hey, I got a scripture for you. This is somebody about everlasting destruction. Revelation. Actually, man, I'm going to start right here. Revelation 19 and 1. And after these things, I heard a great voice of much people saying, excuse me, of much people in heaven saying, hallelujah, salvation and glory and honor and power unto the Lord our God. For true and righteous are his judgments, for he has judged the great whores, the great whores of America. America is a, a great whore. 
Look at you got number of walking around. Look at that thing on the bus. You ain't see that thing. A thing. You got transvestites walking around prison. They should be put to death. A faggot, faggot, a faggot should be put to death. An adulterous woman is supposed to be put to death. Okay, and that's the righteous judgments of the Lord written in the Holy Bible. Bunch of dummies. Y'all let faggots run around talking about, I got gay friends. That's bitch, that's because you evil. Hey, I hate people. Revelation 19 and 2. For true and righteous there is judgments. Judgments of the Lord. Ain't no judgments up in the courthouse. All they doing is taking all your money. When you go to the courthouse, first thing you see is a bunch of registers, cash registers. What kind of judgment is that? They're just getting paid off your stupid ass. <laughs> That's right. That's right. For true and righteous are his judgments, for he hath judged the great whore, which did corrupt the earth with her fornication, and hath avenged the blood of his servants at her hand. So America infected the whole earth with his wicked ass uh, philosophy. You know what I'm saying? Hollywood infected the whole earth with a disease. You know what I'm saying? With, 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 the, uh, with a filthy disease. Because the Hollywood movies is the worst thing to watch. So her sorcery, yeah. That's sorcery. Yeah. Yeah, because that's it, it, sorcery. Just like your boy Alan Moore. Can I tell you that comic book writer? Yeah. Alan Moore. He's a comic book writer. This dude, Alan Moore. Artist. His name is Alan Moore. Okay, he's like one of the most famous comic book writers of all time. Uh, he he wrote uh, The Watchmen. You know, in the movie The Watchmen, because it was a comic book first. He wrote the comic book. I remember The Watchmen. He wrote the movie V for Vendetta. Oh, uh, what else he did? Extraordinary uh, Men, or whatever that's just called. With Sean Connery. It's the lead of Extraordinary uh, Gentlemen. Yeah, that that's Alan Moore. That comes from an Alan Moore comic book. But anyway, Alan Moore has this video on YouTube when he's saying that a true sorcerer and a true magician is a writer or, or a, a, a singer, okay? Because he said, what does it mean to cast a spell on somebody? To cast a spell on somebody, and this is what Alan Moore said, he said to cast a spell on somebody means you spell words. Oh, that's why it's actually they say spelling. That's why you spell, you cast a spell. You use a word with people, you use a propaganda. All them Hollywood movies are propaganda that they just set up to brainwash those retarded ass. To make, they, 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 the, 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 the movies and TV shows teach you what's hot and what's not, okay? It's not popular unless the TV told you it's popular. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? TV, magazine. The news ain't true unless the news on the TV told you it was true. You know what I'm saying? Because they're all magicians and sorcerers. All these uh, Hollywood producers, all these Hollywood directors, Steven Spielberg, George Lucas, uh, Joe Silver, what's all these other faggots, man? They're all sorcerers, man. They're all devil worshiping sorcerers. Yeah, that's pretty much how people are learning how to do scene, entertain, dress. And they're all so-called Jews, too. They're, they just happen to all be Jewish. But they're not right. Jewish, they're really Edomites. They're not Hebrew Israelites, they're Hebrew Edomites. Right, the people, devil. yeah, the people that don't have no uh, 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 good culture. No good culture. They have no, no culture. Nothing about them. And then, and then Hollywood, Hollywood <laughs> is called, why is Hollywood called Hollywood? Because it goes back to the Hollywood, which is the tree. They worship the tree of uh, uh, knowledge of good and evil. You read a tree in the Garden of Eden? You know what I'm talking about? The tree in the Garden of Eden. The Lord said you can eat of any tree, but, a tree, uh, but this tree, the knowledge of good and evil, you can't eat. When you eat it, you're going to die. You know what I'm saying? But that's what Hollywood represents. That they worship the that they worship the devil. They, and when, it, when you read when you uh, listen to a lot of these so-called Jews teach, they'll they'll teach you that Satan was the most beautiful of all the angels. They said Satan's so beautiful, and, and he gave he gave us all this wisdom and knowledge, and he gave us the fruit. And he said the, no teacher that the fruit in the garden of Eden was actually a gift. They'll say that was that was Satan's gift to us. 
And he, he freed us from the bonds of God. I've actually heard a bitch say this yeah, before. Yeah, 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 I heard that too. They, and this is a part, that's what them See, Jews teach. Prison, and they worship the, and eat. Yeah, and, yeah. They, and they worship the devil. Because they give thanks to Satan for giving them the fruit. They worship the devil. Like your boy Truth Iracy. Truth Iracy worships the devil. How I call him Douche Iracy. <laughs> Y'all know about Truth Iris? Yeah, I know about that guy. That's, All using electronic shit. He's a, that dude's out of his mind, man. Straight up evil. 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 Straight they, like I they had never believed these people they will not believe anything we say until but if the TV tells them then they'll believe it all of a sudden you know, then, then they'll act like they came up with it and you ain't telling you know what I'm saying don't you hate it when, when you tell somebody something then two months later they, they, they tell you about it act like they came up with it go ahead <laughs> 2 Thessalonians 2 and 10. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth. So, so since y'all don't see receive the love of the truth, you're gonna perish. You're gonna die. You're gonna be destroyed, man. So there is to it. The Lord's just gonna just bam, smack the shit out y'all. This is two finish. That they might be saved. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they shall believe a lie. Yeah, like the American dream, that's a strong delusion. When y'all thinking all the, the recession is almost over, that's a strong delusion. You're thinking, thinking that you're going to get your EBT card every month and there's going to be money on it every month for all, of, for all eternity, that's a strong delusion. Yeah, they think that EBT card lasts forever. No, that's a strong delusion. And that, that's why we said it's going to be cannibalism, bro. It's going to be crazy out here. America's future. Your little children, gone. It's somebody's America's lunch. near future. Near future. It's this near. It's near. It's, it's inevitable. Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be wonderful, man. Or in the suburbs, y'all going to have your house ransacked by these niggas in the hood. I mean, just think about it. Just think when, let's think about it. When there's no food, it's going to be, everybody's going to be starving or eating each other. But there's going to be no plumbing either, no more running water. Is it going to have nobody to maintain the plumbing system? Then that's going to cause the spread of diseases. You're going to have shit piling up everywhere in the street. Everybody pissing and shitting in the streets. And there's going to be all kind of diseases and then uh what else there's no electric bitches is a fair game I mean, all day fair game fair game they're gonna be terrified yeah they're gonna be they don't stand a chance it's gonna be frightening bro it's gonna be terrible oh uh, go ahead second thessalonians 2 and 11 for and for this cause god shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie Y'all y'all been sending a strong delusion. You don't believe a lot. You can just see the delusion look on his face. Right. You know what I'm saying? Stupid he, look on his face. He, he was nowhere on the planet Earth. You know what I mean? You can you can just look in someone's eyes and you see that loss. Yeah. And you, yeah. you can see the look of hopelessness in their eyes. His they just, wife ruled him. Yeah, his wife ruled him. She's probably fucking him in the ass with a strap on. You know what I mean? That's how the white bitches, them white bitches are nasty. Nasty. They do some nasty, you know, all them rich white bitches, they be doing some nasty oh. shit. You can get on the internet and watch them do all kind of weird shit. The white boys works. Yeah, they do that. They, they do the weird shit. They fucking need them, my son. They do some foul motherfuckers. They in the scat sex? Now, like you said, the dude, they, uh, this, yeah, you had that one guy you was talking about. The guy fell asleep at a party. And while he's asleep, his friends, they stuck an eel up his ass. And that's the type of shit that goes on on these parties on campus, too. All these little rich kids, when they fall, uh, they, you fall asleep, they're putting their balls and dick on your face while you're sleeping. They're fucking you in the ass and raping you. That's the type of shit that goes on out here in these frat houses and all that. 
a shit. bunch of faggot shit, man. That's why you can be a faggot now in the Marines. You can go join the Marine Corps and say, everybody, I'm a faggot. You just be open with it. Nobody's allowed to beat you up. They'll get in trouble. You know what I mean? So they got, now they just thinking what kind of weird shit's going on in the Marines right now. Probably a fucking freak fest. I already heard, they been took boxing out of boot camp. Because when I went to boot camp, we had a box. But they said that that's too dangerous now. We can't box no more. Somebody might get hurt. Well, you're in the fucking Marines, you know what I mean? You get killed. Yeah, you, your ass get killed. See how that bullet, you're worried about boxing. Y'all shoot bullets. That don't make no sense, That don't man. make no damn sense. Because they just pussifying everybody. They, they, they faggotizing the whole society. They turning, they're, they're pushing the whole vibration. It's okay to be a faggot, okay? That's just a, the number one goal is turn everybody into faggots. What you got? You see that special op soldier on Alex Jones that they said that uh, uh, he's been interviewed because the government's asking him to dis help disarm the Americans. Oh, uh, yeah, I heard him. You yeah. can't tell me he wasn't a faggot. Uh, he uh, did sound pretty gay. Look, he looked like a faggot. I didn't actually see his... I, didn't, yeah, I, I, I watched the whole thing. I listened to it on the radio. He was obviously a homosexual. They, a lot of them dudes be on the Alex Jones show that are fucking faggots. He's supposed to be a super soldier. Alex Jones? Nah, the dude who was in I could have sworn I seen Alex Jones wearing a pink shirt. He's wearing, you know, doing an undershirt. The motherfucker's wearing a pink shirt, man. What kind of faggot shit is that? I'm gonna see if I can find a picture. I'll prove To help me, let them be ashamed and confounded. So to yeah, people always say you're not supposed to let, you're not supposed to wish bad things on nobody. Uh, you shouldn't say that about people. It's a personal thing. Well, what, where you got to read the scripture? This is this is the, how you're supposed to come with it, man. Yeah, that's right. Let them be ashamed. Let them and be confounded ashamed. Confounded together. And confounded. Ashamed. That seek after my soul to destroy it. Let them be driven backwards and put to shame that wish me evil. Yeah, so we, yeah, that's what we pray on. We pray evil to these people. We pray evil happens to you. And our, our, our prayers are going to be answered. Yeah, they're going to be, yeah. All these, all these damn heathens out here, bro. We pray the Lord destroys them and their children. Mm -hmm. We pray your little, little children going to catch a school bus and the bus driver runs them over. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or get caught in the door and they drag your ass down the street five blocks. Man, we pray your little babies get attacked by pit bulls. We got lions and cats running around. Pit bulls and bull masters. Rock wallers. Snakes. Soon you're going to have pythons out here wrapping yeah. the motherfuckers up. Yeah. Giant spiders. Crocodiles and alligators. You know, you ever seen them giant um, centipedes? Oh, those things are scary. Oh, my goodness, man. You, you mad at something crowing in your ear while you're sleeping? Ooh. Yeah, a centipede will crow up in your ear while you're sleeping. They eat your brain. That's a, that's a terror of the Lord, pray man. For the worst. You pray, you pray for the worst of the Lord. Let them be desolate for a reward of their shame. That say unto me, aha, aha. Yeah, they like to laugh at it's the Lord. Funny. Everything's funny. Everything's a joke. Mm -hmm. Let all of those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee. So we're going to rejoice. We we're already rejoicing. Let such as love thy salvation say continually. The Lord be magnified. So that's all we're gonna do is magnify the Lord. That's why we come out here. The only purpose. So all we doing, we coming out here to wake up other people so they can magnify the Lord with us. That's what's up, you know what I'm saying? That's right. You know, magnify, yeah, that comes from the word uh that's where you get that word magnus, it means ultimate. Magnificent. Oh, you got more than that test for me? Yeah. All right. Bring it out. Second Thessalonians 2 and 11. Thessalonians 2 and 11. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they shall believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, <laughs> yeah. but have pleasure in unrighteousness. It's like, yeah, you all believe in some evolution, and y'all believe all these little TV shows you watch to say the Bible ain't true. 
God been sending strong delusions. Everything in this Bible is 100% true. The 100%. Yeah, none of these words shall fail. Yeah, no, not one. Yeah, let's get that. Yeah, get that. That's a good one. Go ahead. Second Thessalonians 3 and 6. That's Isaiah 34. Now we command you, brethren, in the name of our Lord Yahweh Shai, that ye withdraw yourselves from every brother that walketh disorderly. Yeah, so if anybody is acting like a, you ain't supposed to hang out with two thirds first, first brother. So if you know people, they all they do is act a fool all day and always involved in this, some, uh, what's the word? They always involved in some nickerdom. You know what I mean? They just. Yeah, they just cooning out all day. You ain't supposed to be around nobody like this, man. It is an act of man. That's an order. That's a, yeah, it's an order, man. You stay away from them. Stay away from these people, man. People talking about they going to hit some licks. Or they always want to uh, uh, be drug dealers. And they always into some evil shit, sticking people up. There's more to this, too. It, it, you, if somebody don't even believe in the Bible, if they talk shit about the Bible, you ain't supposed to deal with them. You know what I'm saying? They celebrate Christmas, you're not supposed to deal with them. I mean, you, you're supposed to teach people the truth, but after they reject it, you, you depart from them. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You say, okay, you're the devil, goodbye. <laughs> and you, then you no longer associate with that person. Oh, go ahead, read that. Se uh, 2 Thessalonians 3 and 6. Now we command you, brethren, in the name of our Lord Yahweh Shai, that ye withdraw yourselves from every brother that walketh disorderly. Yeah, I, I can't be around people that act foolish, man. I, ca I can't take it. Like, I, I, I probably won't want to fight somebody. If you around me always listen to Lil Wayne and shit all the time and talking about some bullshit, talking about rapping, and talking about hustling, and some more retarded shit, man, I, I probably want to fight you, man, actually. I don't want to be around you. Keep going. And not after the traditions. You know, like, like them dudes always came over our house. They was always, remember that dude brought a pepperoni pizza up in our house? Oh, I told this motherfucker we don't eat pork around here. We don't win that shit around us. Get the fuck out of our house. <laughs> he argued with you over Michael Jordan's not being Nikes. Yeah, he was like, that's your opinion. That's your opinion. He like, he even went to the website and everything. It's still your opinion. Yeah, people they just don't get it, man. It's like, I don't want to be around that shit. Okay? You celebrate Christmas, I don't want to talk to you because you're retarded, man. I got no time for no dumb shit. You know what I mean? Go ahead. 2 Thessalonians 3 and 14. And if any man obey not or word by this epistle, note that man and have no company with him. Yeah, like if, if you got people like that claim they're out here with us and teaching with us. What's up, bro? You ain't supposed to deal with him. You're supposed to curse him out and tell him to keep him pushing. Yo, what's up, homie? This shit is working. Like, that's what my new sign says. It oh, says, man. appease your white looking guilt. Give a nigga some cash. Oh, there oh, I, you like go. <laughs> I like that one. I like that. But now, now you're going to turn people into conservatives when they see that shit. That's what somebody taught for conservatives. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what I'm saying? Well, if you don't like faggots, you know, you get. Just, it, well, all these liberals, that's all they talk about. You gotta love faggots. Right. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta, pretty much all about being a faggot. Remember we got into it with that dude? <laughs> because you got his, I guess he said, I got a cousin this guy. He's not a faggot. Who was that? Yeah. <laughs> Man, I, can, I remember when he was out there. I don't remember exactly. We were gonna talk to so many people. I'm about to get on down the way. I gotta get me something to drink on. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. right, I'll be easy. Good to see y'all again, right, man. Now. I'll be blessed. He said, yeah. He said he had a sign that said, "Give him money to appease their white liberal guilt." That's a good one. Though. Yeah, that is a good one. <laughs> because all these people call themselves liberals, man. They're a bunch of faggots, man. They're just a bunch of. Weak bitches. You ever seen them? I mean, I mean, all you Republicans are weak bitches too. But and them liberals, especially, man. Just, you see them talking that shit. They be on that Barack Obama shit. They sit trying to convince you that Barack Obama is the greatest president of all time. 
he's greater than Roosevelt. They talk all this bullshit, man. I'm trying to hear it. But, but it, all these Obama lovers, what do they got to say now with the Obamacare? You see what happened to Obamacare? That shit's all fucked up. You can't even sign up for that shit. That shit don't even work. You see that website they had? Shit don't even work, bro. The number, the, the Obamacare number is 1-800-FUCK-YOU. That's all you gotta know. There ain't nothing else to say about that shit, bro. The, the number, phone number. The number is 1-800-FUCK-YOU. Yeah, that's all they talking about right now on the talk radio, the news. They've been talking about Obamacare straight for two weeks. That's the only thing in the news. Obamacare, Obamacare. But you got you already finished reading that testimony? Weirdos. Big old faggots. Yeah, there's a bunch of weirdos out here, man. Yeah, read aloud too from the right here. The delusion, the lie. The, the, the destruction part of what he's saying is Oh, okay. There's a couple of things. Go ahead. Second Thessalonians 7, 1 and 7. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord Jesus shall be revealed, from heaven with his mighty angels. Oh yeah, that's when the Lord comes back, they're coming out of the heavens in the so-called UFO. Keep going. In flame and fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God. So all you people that don't know <laughs> God, all you faggots out here, keep going. And that obey not the gospel. If you don't obey the gospel, keep going. Our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord. You're going to get burned up. That's all there is to it. All you faggots out here, all you agnostics, you atheists, you're gonna get burned up. You're just gonna die. All you faggot ass white people, you're gonna get burned up. All you uh, adulterous women, you're gonna get burned up. That's all there is to it. 